Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another session of Moldex 3 News uh, webinar series. But the topic for today is uh, how to optimize your hot runner design using uh, a new analysis that uh, we came out with last year, which is a hot runner study analysis. My name is Shrikar Valuri, and I'll be your host today. So uh, this is an outline of uh, topics that I've lined up for today. I'll be giving a brief introduction into uh, hot runner's analysis. Uh, with uh, simulations, and then introduce uh, the hot runner study. I don't believe I spoke about this before, so I'm going to talk about uh, what, why, where, when, etc. And then I'm going to talk about a few applications for uh, the hot runner study analysis also. So, uh, standard hot runner analysis. Now, several people have been using these uh, in the past with success, but um, what is Moldex 3D used for when it comes to uh, analyzing your hot runner systems? You can uh, analyze how many uh, hot drops or how many nozzles are required. Uh, you can look at your uh, injection pressures, your tonnage uh, estimations. You can look at uh, nozzle locations, uh, try to study your flow balancing, well lines, etc. You can also study your uh, runner layouts uh, and also uh, look at your pressure drops in each segment. Valve gating, sequencing your valve gates, um, and of course uh, your temperature distribution itself, both in the part and the runner and the mold, etc. So uh, you can uh, visualize or analyze all of these with either just a fill analysis or using a fill and a cool analysis also. Uh, we also have the capability of, uh, of uh, analyzing the hot runner, uh, the advanced hot runner components, which is, uh, which is, uh, using the, all the different components that are actually, uh, used in designing your hot runners, your manifolds, um, your heater coils, etc. Which means when you, uh, use the software for analyzing these, you can look at your uh, sensor node locations. In reality, that would correlate with your thermocouple sensors, your heat conduction planes, your uh, mold temperature distribution, considering the thermal effect from the hot runner, your uh, heating efficiency of your uh, heating coils or heater rods, etc., which means you can uh, analyze what power or what is the size 